Uh, this piece of content recently popped up as one that was having trouble and we were trying to figure out how to fix it and so I thought I'd make a video showing how we tra trace the source of the problems and fix them. So you can see that this leaf clasp on um, this hood is crushing, crunching and um, we need to figure out what's causing the problem. Now uh, first thing I want to do is figure out what bones are affecting this, this leaf so I'm going to select the geometry All right, it's already selected here. We're going to go in with the node weight map brush and we want to do selection analysis. You might have to click general here to have it pop up. I've got neck upper, left collar, and neck lower all affecting this. Um, and so what we want to do first is we want to first fix the weight maps. And there are JCMs, joint controlled morphs, that are on this on Genesis 3 that need to be turned off so that you can focus your efforts just on, on the weight maps at first for fixing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select Genesis 3 female, go into parameters, and we're going to go into hidden, correctives, and we said that there was a left collar. So I'm going to filter filter these. I don't know why my filter keeps messing up. We've got collars. I'm going to go ahead and kill all the collar JCMs. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just unlinking them. So now they won't get controlled automatically. And then we had neck. Um, I'm going to unlink the neck ones as well. Apparently I had a couple unlinked already from some work I was doing. So now all the neck ones are unlinked. That should be all we need to do um, for the moment. And now what happens is if I go and bend the neck, uh, you can see that it's still crushing it, but if I go to the cape and look at currently used, no morphs are being dialed up. So now it's all weight maps that we can fix. Alright, so now with no morphs on there and we're just doing weight map modifications, um, we are going to... Sorry, let me just restore this. What I usually like to do is I'll select the geometry and try to smooth it. That might work in this case as a starting point. Um, here, I'll go ahead and bend the neck just so we can see the problem and, and maybe we'll be lucky and just smoothing these weights I have to go select neck I guess neck lower and we have these weights we can try smoothing it and just if we're lucky it'll actually do something and then go all out and it didn't change anything sometimes with floating geometry it's not going to work so Let's just undo that. Oh wait. I guess it did do something, it just did something bad. Okay. Alright, so before we start working on this leaf detail, what we want to do is make sure that the geometry um, let's go and hide hide this selected. Let's make sure that this geometry here is behaving the way we want it to. Let's go back to neck. And just bend it and just see. You can see that um, that's kind of hard to see that. Oh, let me change my preferences. Back face lighting is off, so we can't see those. Now we can see it. All right, let's bend that. It doesn't follow exactly right there. So you would go in and want to modify so that we modify the weights All right here I'm just going to smooth it hold down control and it's not really changing anything so we might have to go in in more detail paint that now to make it easier you can go and select some of this geometry 
Control plus to expand it. And with that selected, go back to your paintbrush, make this a bigger, sorry, my brush disappeared. Let me switch back. Okay. Make it a bigger brush. And then we're on neck lower. I'm just going to paint this more. And smooth it. All right, now we'll go back to neck and bend this a little more. And let's just say, you know, I'm not gonna make it super pretty. Well, let's just say we like how that's behaving. Then we can bring our geometry back. I guess I can do it from this tool here. Visibility, show all. Okay. I'm going to select these three parts. All right. So what I'll do is I'm going to restore this three female. And I'm going to I'm going to, since smoothing didn't work, I want to take all the weight and put it in the, the bone that's highest up the hierarchy, which in this case was the left collar. All right, so we're going to go to left collar. And with this geometry selected, I'm going to right click, weight editing, fill selected to 100%. All right, now that means that when the left collar is rotated, It's always going to move 100%, and obviously it's not correct yet, but that, but that allows us to um, have no distortion. See, it's not distorting at all anymore. And then we will be going to the neck lower and bending that to see how far the the leaf should move. Okay, and we're going to fill its weights. Now you have a couple ways to do this. One, you can just guess. Just try filling it to a weight and see if it jumps down there. And that's what I'm going to do. The other option is you could select the geometry down here and do a selection analysis right here to get the values, kind of the average weights from the area and then flood, fill to that. I'm just gonna go and guess here. Fill, let's fill it at, I don't know, 25%. Okay, that is not enough. Let's fill at 40%. No. How's 50? Let's jump back to the other one, our figure. We'll move it. We'll basically just want to check that and make sure it's following correctly. And that's pretty dang close, so I'm going to call that good. All right, so if we actually go down here and do a selection analysis on on this, now we have the left collar and the neck lower affecting it. You can see the left collar is basically 50%, and the neck lower is 50%. And if we go to left collar and rotate that, you can see it's moving nicely there. And the neck lower. It's moving nicely. Staying in place. The neck upper is going to be messed up right now, though, because it needs some weight. But before I put weight on that, since the left collar is behaving correctly and the neck lower is behaving correctly, I'm going to go lock the neck. Right, I'm going to lock the collar so that I don't take any weight from it as I do my next work because I only want to take weight from the neck lower to split that between neck lower and neck upper. So with that said, let's go to neck upper 
And oh, let's jump back over to here. Let's bend this so we can see it. It's not going to be a lot. Neck upper. We want to fill this. Let's make sure we locked it correctly. Left collar is locked, nothing else is locked. Okay. Fill it to 10%. Nope, not enough. 20%. You can see it's poking into the cloth there. If I'd done a better job of making sure this followed great with neck upper, then it would be good. Obviously, I didn't do that before um, for speed purposes. But um, we get this to a spot that we like. And let's say, uh, let's just go 25%. Okay. And, and now, We rotate so the it is a little off. So I'm going to go to neck lower and do 30 there. So that just took that extra 5% away from neck upper. Follows a little better. And we can fix this with a morph later if we need to. The idea is to get follow as well as you can. Um, and there will be cases where uh, no matter how you adjust the weight maps on the cloak itself or the cape itself, uh, you won't be able to get this rigid item to follow exactly. And so you'll want to do a morph. But um, this is the idea. You get it following as well as you can. Where's the other one? Left collar. Okay. Okay, uh, you'll want to test each axis of rotation. Make sure it's performing as well as you can. Because you want to make sure that the weight maps are completely done before you move on to the next step. And that is to turn the morphs back on. So let's go back to Genesis 3 Female. Go to Hidden. We need the collar morphs. And we need to basically just link these back up again. You can actually alt-click them, and that will restore them, and then neck. Alt-click each one of those, and you'll see the, the link disappear off of there, so you know that it's back and good. Now if we go in and we rotate the left collar, let's just bend it. We should end up with a morph being applied. Yes, so we have a JCM being applied there. And you can look for any roughness now on, on the mesh. And then you fix the morph one by one. Now when you fix the morphs, you need to fix them by dialing the joint all the way up and you can see see how the name of the morph says PJCM collar up 50 L that means it was built when the joint was rotated to 50 which is the max limit of that collar up so then you would export this out and clean up the morph as, as needed and then bring it back in through Morph Loader Pro and then we can go ahead and just go check the the other bones real quick. You can see it's falling a lot better, but the morph is getting a little bit messy. You can see some distortion up here. So now you want to go in and if there are problem areas, go clean up the morph. Like this is all messed up. And again, you want to look currently use, see the see this, um, look for the morphs and see that they are applied fully um, before you go and fix them. Because morphs, when you load them back in, they have to be loaded in at the 100% value, uh, especially when you're doing reverse deformations. 
So you want to rotate everything. In this case, I think we need to rotate the neck forward all the way. And then if you go here and look at the morphs, okay, so this morph is now at 100%. And is, again, export this out, clean it up, bring it back in through Morph Loader Pro, uh, reverse some deformations, and update in the morph. And this process will work with any type of content. Uh, not just a uh, hood. Um, you always want to make sure to turn off all the morphs so that they're not influencing the weight map cleanup that you're doing. And then you want to make sure that the weight maps are cleaned up and work in all axes as well as they can. And then you turn on your morphs and figure out which morphs you need to clean up. And that's it.